Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another episode. With, with yes, ma'am! It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the BKA. BKA. BKA, the people should pick. All right, man. Look, that's my wife right there, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all going to be seeing a lot more of her in these videos. If you want more Bree Easy, give me a thumbs up and say we want more Bree Easy. But uh, anyway, man, so somebody asked me um, how to, they, they wanted me to do a video on mastering the uh, mastering the jump shot, man. And uh, this jump shot that I'm using right here is which is Aldrich. And um, I was like, hey, you know what? It took me quite a while to master this jump shot, I'm not gonna lie. It is not, it, this This is what I like to refer to as an advanced jump shot. Sweetie, can you turn the TV down for me? Just a little bit. Um, this is what I like to refer to as an advanced jump shot. This is this this jump shot is not for beginners, man. And uh, truthfully, you're gonna have to feel the jump shot more than anything. When you shoot it enough, you will be able to feel it and you will be able to just, just it's just gonna be timing versus what you're seeing on screen. Like I said, I'm using no, no, I'm only using feedback, right? So y'all can see that I'm greening it just about every time. I got no, uh, but I got no shot meter. And that's what I was telling somebody. I was like, I don't use the shot meter. I always use just, just uh, straight up look at the guy's body. So what I'm gonna be telling you in this video is what you should be looking at in order to hit the shot. Now, the first thing you can look at is, look at, look at his feet, right? When you look at his feet, when his legs try like come together, if you look at that, if you let it go the moment his legs begin to come together, then you'll be, you're gonna hit it just about every time. So right now it's a little bit early, right? But you're gonna be able to see it here. Um, see that? The moment it comes together, I was a little bit late. But if you look at that, that, that's not what I look at, but I'm just trying to give you an easy, an easy visual cue. So the moment his legs come together, boom, you just let it go. And uh, most of the time, you're either gonna green it or it's gonna still be splashy cashy. I mean, you know, splashy cashy! That's what I, that's what I do, man. So you can do that. That's one thing to look at. What I actually look at is, I look at his uh, his arm and his elbow. And as soon as I see the, see his arm make a triangle or what have you, I just let it go. So so whatever hand you're using, as soon as you see his arm make that triangle in front of his head, you just let the ball go. And I mean, really, it's gonna be times like that when it's not green, but it's gonna go in. And, and the thing is, the reason that I shoot off of that is because like, look at that right there. It's gonna say I'm late, but um, I, I can pretty much tell tell what I am. Like right there's gonna say I'm a little bit early. And um, that's, that normally goes in. But uh, really, the biggest thing is when you, when you hit that off a pull up, it's, it's super quick. Or when you hit it off the Kobe Kobe escape dribble, you know, right there, I looked at his feet. So, you know, that's that's what you wanna look at. But eventually, like I said, you're gonna you're gonna just be able to feel it. And uh, and that's what I do. So right here, let me I'm gonna take five shots just looking at, feeling it and looking at my own visual cue. And they should all be good. And then I'm gonna start uh, start looking at other things. But like I said, I'll, I'll be talking while I'm doing it. So right now I'm just looking at the elbow. If you just look, like I said, look at his elbow and look at how it's doing. And as soon as his el his um, arm makes that triangle, you can just let it go. Or pretty much when he turns his hand over, you know, backwards. As soon as he does that, you can let it go, pretty much. And uh, I'm normally late on these jump shots. Most people are early. Uh, always early, you know. Sometimes it's like it's better to be early than late. Off the Kobe escape dribble, like off that, that's cash. Uh, but off the Kobe escape dribble, man, it is super. It, I don't. I. It's so tough to time it. Maybe I look at his feet. Splash. Off the Kobe escape dribble is real. It's real hard to hit this thing. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh, the, probably the best thing to do, honestly, is to come in the gym and practice. But uh, like, uh, let me show y'all what I have it on right here. I mean, this is what I did for about, and I'm, I mean, the answer is not pressed. I came in here, put it on Superstar Casual, and um, I just came in here and shot this thing for like an hour a day for like three days. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It was just a lot of practice. And so you can so you can see every animation, but the, and, and, and like I said, the two things that I found out about it are, 
at, you know, right when he gets ready to do that herky jerk, because it's because it's a little herky jerk in it too when he kicks, right? So that's what I'm saying. You can look at his feet. And as soon as his feet get ready to uh, become even or as soon as they move a little bit, get ready to cross, um, you just let it go. And then if you get used to looking at that, like some people, some people like uh, upper body visual cues. I like upper body visual cues. That's why I was good, really good at shooting Rudy Gay and I was really good at shooting um, shooting uh, Paul George because I like the upper body visual cue. Some people like the lower body visual cue. So if you like a lower body visual cue, you just look at his feet and as soon as his, um, his right leg should always move towards the left leg. Yeah, the right leg is always gonna move. So it doesn't matter. If you look at his right leg, as soon as his right leg begins to move forward just a little bit, you can let it go. And most times it's gonna go in. Like even that, hell, that's good on the park. If it goes in, it goes in, right? So, but I'm not really good at looking at the right leg. I'm just trying to give you something else to look at. So I'm gonna look at the right leg as soon as it, uh, as soon as it moves every time. And then we're gonna see, see how many greens I hit with it. And that's just like the very first thing that you can look at. So look at that splash. So try that first. I think that's probably gonna be the easiest way. When you pull up, look at the right leg. I was a little late on that one, but um, because when you're playing on 2K view, you know you're gonna be in the corner. You're gonna be in the corner sometimes. So boom, looking at the right leg. Boom. As soon as it moves forward, um, so when you're in that left corner, the right leg is the one closest to you. In this corner, the right leg is the one farthest away. All right, so I mean, I know y'all know you left from your right, but still, you know, I just wanna just wanna put that out there. Boom, and when you shoot from the top of the key, it's pretty much the same thing. And like I said, I just got this thing on feedback only. Me, I shoot, I shoot looking at the hand. And like I said, as soon as he turns that hand over this way, or as soon as you see it make a triangle, you know what I mean? And he's just gonna push it into the bucket. I mean, it's, it's a really advanced shot, right? I'm not saying advanced as in it's really hard to hit. I'm saying advanced as in you don't want to be a beginner. Like most beginners are probably going to have a lot of trouble hitting this shot because it's just not easy. And you, you're you going to have to practice it. So like I said, put it on superstar casual. Look at the cues that I'm giving you. And if you look at the cues that I'm giving you, I feel confident that you're going to be able to master this shot within three days. I mean, it's not going to come overnight. It's not going to come within the first hour. And you're going to miss a lot. You're gonna miss a lot at first, but but once you get it, it's not gonna be like, look at that, splash. It's gonna be like, uh, it's gonna be like, damn, by George, I think I got it. So again, yep, splish, splash. Again, like I said, look at the right leg, as soon as it comes forward, splash, or my or the way that I do it, you look you can either look for the herky jerk, which right there. You can look for the little jerk that's in the shot. Or you can look at his arm. You can either look as soon as his hand goes back like this, or you can look as soon as his elbow makes a his uh elbow makes a triangle. And like I said, it's gonna go in just about every time. And like I said, to me, I like shooting without the meter because the meter kind of distracts me because I want to make sure that I'm shooting purely off of, you know, I want to make sure that I'm shooting purely off of uh, what I'm seeing, purely off of vision. I don't want to shoot off of the meter because sometimes you know that meter is distracting right so i'm not the only one that thinks that but anyway this is gonna replace my jump shot video this time man like i said i ain't the best shooter in the world and uh and i was able to master this jump shot so if i'm trash and i can master it you guys that watch my videos which are way better than i am y'all should be able to um y'all should be able to master it in no time and if you can figure out a way to master the motherfucker off of that kobe escape dribble Please tell me, because it is so hard for me to hit off. I, I swear to God, it don't matter what I do. Even though I know what to look at, I just miss I just miss off that Kobe escape dribble. It's just like it's so fast off that Kobe escape dribble, so it throws off your timing a little bit. But if you can learn how to hit it like that off that Kobe escape dribble, I swear to God, man, your game will go to the next level. Because it's so easy, because people will close out, and you just do that, and you just pull up, splash, and it's going to be... It's gonna be good, man. But anyway, I done already talked too long, man. The video already too long. Hope you guys enjoy this. And I hope it helps somebody out, man. Like I said, um, like I said, right leg moving forward, cash. I mean, as soon as that right knee, you know, does it, or or the elbow, splash. And like I said, y'all know I got a small forward, so my shooting ain't even that high. So uh, if I can do it with him, you can do it with your guard that's probably gonna have shooting overnight. But anyway, man, I'm out of here. Um, anything you want to say, Bridget? Hey, people, what's up? <laughs> Y'all should convince Jay to let me play.
In well, the park. Well, don't tell Bridget, but I'm, I have uh, used her profile, and I'm creating her a uh, player. Really? So I'm creating, yeah, I'm creating you a center. I just gotta, I gotta grind it out. So if y'all wanna play with Bridget, you know, um, if y'all wanna play with her on the park and let her know, you can add her on Bree Easy, B R I Easy, and uh, you can add me on J Easy, man. And we, we, cause we always gonna be looking for a third pretty soon. When we get her her Xbox, and we just gonna have to go with it, man. But anyway, we out of here. Till next time. What, what are we, the easy fam? Or what are we going to be, the easy riders? I the, our, our fans going to be the I easy? I don't know. Let them pick. Uh, y'all let let, let, also let us know what y'all want to be known as, man. The easy riders, the easy fam, the easies. You know, whatever, man. But we out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Holla! And if the video helped you out, leave a like, tweet it out, subscribe. And uh, and let me know your results with it, man. Peace. Three sixty out this month. That was so fucking epic.